Hey now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey to the now. I'm gonna do some of these. Let me, uh. Let me, get, <laughs> let me get the word out. Okay, hey now. God, these beats are so fresh. Hey, Gray. Hey, Ross. How's it going, guys? <clears throat> Listen to these fresh-ass beats, though, huh? How y'all doing? I still gotta post to, like, Facebook and Twitter and all that shit. Where's my Twitter window? That's weird that it's... I must have closed Twitter at some point. Easy enough to bring back. <laughs> Stuff from going to get together with some co-workers to celebrate one of them having recently gotten married. Well, congrats to Ross, his co-worker. Free food is always good, too. Was there pizza with pineapple and mushroom? Was I hope the fuck not. That picture grossed me out so much. People still post shit like that, even after I say that I find it to be gross, but I can't control what people do. Ooh, barbecue. Mmm. Did they have pulled pork and coleslaw? I'm not even like a huge coleslaw fan, but I feel like pulled pork and coleslaw go together really well. You know, um, did they have brisket? Oh, brisket too? Shit. Oh, dope. I love brisket. Brisket with some chilies and some barbecue sauce? Mmm. To be honest, Gray, uh, anything with mushrooms grosses me out. I it, it's like a it's like the one food that I just I can't even contemplate why people eat it. The pulled pork with coleslaw, brisket sandwich, chilies and barbecue sauce. Mm. Baked beans, I assume. All the shit that's bad for you, but we all love it so much. So, Gray, what do you think? You think uh, East 3 Wanderers from East streams at some point after this? Would you be down? I've never played it. Well, I know I've played it, but not on Turbo Graphics. I've played it very briefly on, um, like, Super Nintendo. And I played the remake on uh, PSP and also on Steam. I feel like 
the remake has got to be harder. Like, there's no way the old version is as hard as the remake is. The remake is, like, notoriously difficult. And by the way, the music that you've been hearing at the beginning of these uh, streams, this is East 3 Wanderers from East on Turbo Graphics soundtrack that you're hearing. Well, yeah, you got to find out if the Turbo Mini is going to be jail jailbreakable. But all these mini consoles seem to be pretty easy to break into, from what I've seen. Da da. Yahoo! I think East Three was a pretty jarring. Thing missing from the Turbo Mini, though. Like, I can understand why East 4 wasn't included, because the only translation of it was a fan translation, although they could have included the Japanese version. Ha ha ha! Nogan Beats! Now, have you seen the, um, the title of the stream? <laughs> Turtles 4 with a sort of date? Oh. That's romantic. Wait, which turtle did she pick? That's important. That's how you know if it's true love. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd point that out to you. I also put something about it in my uh, alert on um, like Discord and pretty much everywhere else. If you look at it, <laughs> it says something like, "Do you have a favorite East song? Come and tell me all about it." She picked Leo. Leo's a good choice. No, who are you? See, if she was Leo, who are you? Because I want to know, like, what kind of compatibility there is. So who did you play as? Nah, it's all good. However you get here is good. Huh. I'm going to let this song play out and then we'll start. This East 3 soundtrack is just too good to interrupt. So another 90 seconds. This song, by the way, is actually literally called Beat of Destruction. Like, this beat will destroy the shit out of you. It'll be like Moogle screaming into his microphone. With all the reverb. <laughs> I'm not yelling! <laughs> God, great. I don't know if you were there. Were you there for that? This is too much. I know Ross was there for it. And Nan was there for that. Yeah, Spring on East 3 after book 1 and 2. I mean, yeah, I kind of feel like, because I did Oath and Felgana, I feel like I should play the old version. I was just wondering if were you were you here yesterday, like on the Dragon Quest stream when we had like the open call to be on voice chat and Moogle, he had like this like broke ass jank ass broke as fuck microphone. Yeah, he's like was that Moogle again? And then and like I'm like, stop yelling and he's like I'm not yelling. It was terrible. It was just awful. We're gonna play the intro. Here we go. I don't care how young you are, I'm going to kick you in the head repeatedly. Ah, brutality! I didn't even know I could do that shit. That was awesome. Get fucked. Oh, that's what I called it? Shit, I'm funny. After she ate the pitchfork, she ate like three tons of beans. And then as she was standing here, she blew it out her ass. He's not even a weenie. He's a full wiener. Like, a weenie is like... Wiener in training. But he's a full wiener. She do be whack. Keepsy, 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 keepsy. Poop me an egg barrel. Poop me an egg barrel. I never thought I'd hear that or read it. Well, I heard it because I said it. I read it and I said it and I heard it. 
Ah, your mother! Why did I go for the low poke when I knew he was gonna do that shit? Drink the Kool Aid! That is legit a Chozo statue. It's it's a Cholo statue. It would be like uh, a goose walked up to a lemonade stand and he said to the man running the stand, uh, 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 and then the guy died. Ball farts is the insult reserved for dong lords, but only the biggest dong lords are bull farts. Like all dong lords are, all bull farts are dong lords, but not all dong lords are bull farts. If that makes any kind of sense to you, then you're you're crazy. Your mom is covered in white sauce and has a crispy bottom, okay? Just show me what it looks like. I will smash you like a clam on my... Bro. Well, you know, the bubble the bubble bobble part is dope. But I, I would have thought you would have said the Super Mario RPG thing. It's like, um... You know what's interesting, though, is that that wasn't, like... Bubble, but that was a bubble bobble hack, and that's why the level design was so terrible, and that's why I gave up at that point because I'm like, oh god, this is fucking awful. I don't know if you were there for that stream or not, but it was it was pretty shit. But it it led to a great moment, you know. Um, now and I actually wanted to tell you now that I remembered it because I was just thinking about it when the full ass wiener part was playing. It was oh no, I hit I hit something. All right, I think I, I think I fixed it. Move the orb. <laughs> Jesus, Wayne. Yeah, well. Am I really talking shit, or am I just telling the truth? Let's be real. I'm just telling the truth, right? Alright, Goddess's Castle. Oh, wrong button. Okay. Hold on one second, guys. I just gotta get the... I, I, I do want to tell you something, too, because, but I want to um just move things around here. Okay. So, actually, um... I had a really lovely talk uh, the other day with PictoBeam, actually, because uh, I was at her stream, and we actually had this, like, we had, like, a raid train that went all day. Because she started to stream early, and she went up going, like, marathon, like, 10 hours. I wasn't there for the whole thing, obviously, but she was there for a long time. And then I talked her into raiding the Pun Hit Wonder, and, uh... And then the pun hit wonder, uh, he raided me. And I and I had a lot of views that day because like it was a lot of this like Picto was still there, like a lot of the people from Picto stream were still there. And then I wound up raiding Cheeseball, and unfortunately she ended it without raiding. I don't know why people do that, but um, later on I me and Picto had like a nice little heart to heart talk. Um, I think I think we're pretty good friends now, you know? And I was talking with her and um, it was it was like right after Undertale, and we talked a little bit about that and whatnot. And I said, "Oh, by the way, have you ever seen the stream intro?" And she said that she had gone back to see Avad, and uh, <laughs> she was very tickled by the part about the difference between a weenie and a whole ass wiener. And I said, "Well, you know, my friend, now <laughs> that was actually about her ex husband." And it's funny because she said that like it it reminded her of like her friend that had gotten divorced or something. It, it, was, it was pretty funny. That, like, it was very obvious that I was talking about somebody's ex. Okay, so... Wait, I need the orb or the... What are they calling it? Black Pearl? Blue Orb! Okay, I, I usually think of it as the Black Pearl, because that's what it is in the remake. But apparently it's a Blue Orb in this one. They didn't have the budget for Black Pearl, so they're like, just go with Blue Orb. Great, I know to go talk to Tarf. Come on now, I, I, I know what to... Oh, wrong button. Um, I was just... Checking where I was. You gotta remember, it's been like a week. All right, so we're gonna use this. And to Ramia, Lamia Village. I don't know why it's Ramia Village, but whatever. Actually, I'm joking. It's Rami in the remake, too. All right, where's Tarf? He should be right around... Yep, there he is. The Black Pearl? Uh-oh, I had it right here in my pocket. But now it's gone. I guess I have a hole in my pocket. Okay, in the remake, it's actually really fun. He's like, oh, sure, Mr. Addle, I have it right here. And then he's like, right here. Uh, there's a hole in my pocket. The doggy calling thing will always be unforgivable. No, it, it, you're right, it will be. I know I had it when I arrived in the village. 
I might have dropped it when I was talking with Decca. Who the fuck is Decca? I, I mean, I know that, like... <laughs> I know Darm grabbed the thing when he came through here, but, like, are you serious? Oh, oh not, you're, I'm not trying to talk to you. I think you? Do I talk to you? Let's see. Okay, sorry. He lost the Black Pearl? I remember watching a strange man in a black cape bend over and pick something up off the ground. I bet you were watching him bend over. Then the man went into the shrine. He must have been a demon because the guards let him in without a que any question. Okay, okay, I get that, but like, real talk, real talk. As a matter of fact, wait, hold on, hold on, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna. Why did you let him past your gate? That's real. That's what I want to know. Cause that's that remains unexplored and unexplained. There is one thing that has been bothering me. That's Gunny, Gray. I feel that the air is warming. Could it be that we're getting closer to the ground? No, it's climate change, dude. No, that would be impossible. Actually, no, he is right. Ys is actually sinking down. Because um, I don't know if you guys remember, but like Ys is actually floating in the sky. And throughout the events of Ys 2, it's actually sinking down. Um, and at the end of it, it actually becomes like part of Asteria again. All right. All right, I need to transform, though. Um, no, not that. Cancel. Uh, buttons. Why? Every time I... Come back to this. I'm like, what fucking button am I on? Oh, by the way, I should actually change this. Oh my god. Right, there we go. All right. Uh, the, 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 uh, this one. Hi, Amaru. The meeting is finally finished. It seems the wizard brought something in that prolonged the meeting. The wizard did it. Screw you guys. All right. Okay. Uh, let's take that off. We'll put fireball on. Kill some of these guys. Wait, I gotta check my level. I oh, hello. I have no idea what. Yeah, I know about the cape. What level am I even? That would be here. I am level fifty-seven. Gray, you see that shit? Oh, hey, Chris. Don't know how long you'll be around. We have high winds, just trying to knock the power out. Well, I hope it doesn't, cause that's that's a bitch. I hate the high winds knocking power out. That's that's no fun at all. That is negative buenas. So I I hope that doesn't happen. I hope things calm down over there. Okay. Uh. So. Oops. I think we need to go this way. Oh, wow, you guys are respawning fast. I'll, I'll kill you. I'll kill you as fast as you can respawn. Wait, no, not this way, this way. How's it going though, Christopher? As we're going over the fact section. Does the game seem low to you guys? It might just be me. I'm gonna raise the volume on my end. I think I had it, my headphone volume down because of YouTube stuff. There we go. Is the game audio good for you guys now? Come here. Perfect audio balance on your end? Okay. Wait, did I go the right way? Yeah, no, this is it. This is it. Wait. Oh, God. It's good for you, too? Cool. Uh, I feel like I've done this wrong. You gotta go to where the meeting was. Rizaba was having her meeting. It's not here, right? No, this like, I think this leads to the sewer? Let me make sure. Yeah, it's the sewer, all right. Like, I'm in fact sector, but I... 
I derped on uh, the exact place to go. Hey, Moogle, how's it going? Or should I say, Hey, Moogle, how's it going? Now, you fixed your mic, though. Let's all write poems in Esperanto and then punch each other in the face. You've had an interesting day, AJ. The Moog. Is it up here, perhaps? Wasn't the meeting in fact sector? I gotta go where the meeting was held. I seem to be derping here. I'm harping the derp. That just led back to the other. Okay, obviously I fucked this up. Try slightly different, slightly different this time. Maybe I do need my map. No, that ain't it. What about nads? What? <laughs> what about them? What about them, sir? No. Oh. Okay. Come here. No, I think I think I think I need to go down here. Oh, this this has got to be it, right? Yes, this is it. Okay. I derped. All right, so we got the black pearl, and I can actually warp right back to the goddess palace. I don't know why it's a blue orb instead of a black pearl, but you know, they were trying. Um. So we're gonna use this, and we're gonna go to the goddess's castle. I don't know why they didn't call it a shrine or a palace. This is the castle. What about Nads? What about him? You hear a very soft and beautiful voice. We are the goddesses of East. Please come forward. The black pearl is inserted into the dreaming stone idol's eye. Eye? In the eye? I've never had anything inserted into my eye, and I hope to continue that trend. An eerie glow is emitted from the eye. To remove the curse of the afflicted people, you must bring the idol to the top of the belfry and hold it up to the skies. He said, punch each other in the face, and I was wondering about punching in the nads. That's where your mind goes immediately, huh, Chris? The final battle is near. I have told the descendants of six priests to come to the core of the shrine. They are now on their way. We will need all your bravery and might. Please come to the core as soon as you are able. Alright. Refill my magic. Okay, cool. Uh, let me go ahead and... Oop, that ain't it. Put my fireball spell back on. Okay, so we gotta go back to the Campanile of Lane. So. Thankfully, it's not that far away. Come here. Come here. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's where your mind goes. Uh, we punch each other in the nads. This is called Rochambeau. Ah! I'm trying to make progress, but you guys are too fun to kill. Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die. Yeah, I know. The grind is so cool here. And I want to get at least three more levels before we fight the uh, last boss, you know. I'm just ducking in here to heal. <laughs> and then we'll go to the Campanile. Good enough. I should get some experience just for completing this quest though. Oh wait, no. Wait, was that where I needed to go? I'm all turned around. That's not that bad. If anything, we can always play music and grind, you know? No, see, that's what I thought. That leads back there. Rochambeau Pow and the Kisser. So you know what's interesting is that Rochambeau's a real thing, but it doesn't have anything to do with kicking people in the balls. It literally is. I think it's French, and it's, it's like basically the French term for um, rock, paper, scissors. Why am I derping so hard right now?
Yeah, let me let me heal. Yeah, I thought the Campanile was to the north. I'm like, wait, but that was leading back to the. Probably gotta go this way, but there's like nothing here. Oh, you know what it is? Is that this is it, right? You know what it is? Is that it looked like the Campanile of Lane looks so different in the remakes that when I saw that, I was like, ah, that's the sewer. It's a lot prettier in the remakes. This is fine, though. Maria's body is gone. Yeah. Okay, but we gotta get up to the bell. It'd be cool if there were enemies here to fight, but whatever, we'll just walk to the top. You get to see all the cool scenery. Like, there are parts of this part right here that are really pretty, but the, like, the, the ugly green bricks are not it. Like, oh, but look at that, though. How cool is that? Like okay, I so said, the fact that this game came out in the 1980s, it is so impressive on a technical level. And it just gets cooler as you get further up. The scrolling's not the smoothest, but oh, what can you do? I was looking at the chat there. Don't think I need to go in there. I already got what was in there. And this crazy tense music. Look at that, though. It definitely looks better if you stand still because of the jank scrolling, but other than that... Yeah, the outside does look a bit different, but it's a different time of day and we're getting lower to the ground. I mean, I was just... I think you might have been away when I was talking about that, but uh, East is sinking towards the Earth. Oh, I actually have to equip the thing. Um, not that. Where is it? The um, Dreaming Stone Idol, right? Oh, here we go. As you lift the Dreaming Statue to the sky, its eyes begin to glow. Give me all the XP, level me the fuck up! Oh, actually, now uh, that should have lifted the curse. So first things first, I'll put this back on, and then we will use the warp, and I can go to the runaway hideout. Hey, what's up? When we were locked in the belfry, a dove flew in. It had a pendant and a letter tied around its leg. The letter was from a guy named Dr. Flair, and was addressed to you, Adel. It seems that he found the mysterious pendant in the Divine Arena area. Ooh. He said in his letter that he wanted to give this to you. I bet he did. So we got the golden pendant. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up? If you travel further down the water canal, you will reach the core of East. This is where the source of evil emanates. I think we might beat this today. When I was locked up in the Belfry, I saw the mountains of the underworld outside. I wonder if East may be coming down from the skies. Ninja Gaiden and some cool backgrounds on the PC Engine. I don't think I played the, the turbo version of Ninja Gaiden, but this is old and then woo! Why are we going woo? We're all going woo! All right, ready to talk to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Dr. Flair, I get it. Rick Flair, yeah. By the time I woke, Lilia was already gone. Where in the world could she be? 3PO, where could he be? Mm -hmm. uh, you guys look exactly the same. Hey. The demon named Keith told me that there are others who have been turned into stone. Keith is a good guy. He's telling everybody about everything. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> oh, I was going to drink some water. Mm. I'm sorry, that kind of came out of nowhere. Most people might have regained their senses by now. <coughs> All right, um, let's go back to Ramia. Dr. Ric Flair, woo! You know what I say with my patience? <laughs> to be, if you want to, want to be the man? You got to beat the man, woo! All right. All right, we're gonna go back into Solomon Shrine. Get out of my way! Move, bitch! Get out the way! Oh, oh, no, no. All right, so we're gonna put uh, there. We go. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, I know about the meeting. Something wizard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we will take that off. Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! All right. We're going back to fact sector again. 
Oh, gotta kill him. I do need the experience points. Shit. It's a shame you couldn't be at yesterday's stream, Chris. We had uh, a moment where I had to grind, and uh, we opened up uh, voice chat, and it was pretty funny shit. Okay. <laughs> Basically, we're just going back into the sewers. Yeet! You go get the clip? Yeah. I feel like there could have been more clips of that, but I'm glad we at least got one. I mean, it, if there's a stream that goes by where no clips are made, I tend to go back and make at least one. Because that's like my goal is to have one clip from each stream. That way I can make... Because I want to do monthly clip compilations on YouTube. I want to be like, yeah, this is the clips from October or whatever, you know? Sarah, you're back! Okay, got you. well, I, I kind of spoiled it for some people, but Sarah's back, guys. I'm about to get some Asku's clips then, yeah. We could always use Asku's clips. How you doing, Sarah? So, yeah, Sarah contacted me on, on YouTube uh, yesterday, and I, I told AJ and a few other people, but, um, you know, she took a break from Twitch because of some uh, personal issues, but she's back now. Welcome back, Sarah. So we're going back to the subterranean canal. Remember, you can't spell canal without anal. People have been asking about you, by the way. Like, numerous times on stream, people have said, Hey, you know, whatever happened to Hipster Sarah? Or Hipster Sarah. <laughs> Hipster Sammy. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry about that. But, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh. Oh! Kill this guy. I just killed a Snuffleupagus. Let's say uh, heal up a little here. Okay. Uh, I think I gotta go this way. Sada should be right here somewhere. God, I hope I'm going the right way. I believe Sada's up here. No. Hmm. Yeah, Sarah wanted to start a YouTube channel to, like, review RPGs and whatnot, which I think is a great idea. I'm glad you're feeling good enough to come here and join us, and I hope we make you feel even better, because that's, like, kind of the idea of this. I have screwed this up somewhere. What? Was I supposed to go down in here, maybe? Ooh, that might have been it, actually. Yeah. Oh, there he is. He's right there. Okay. <laughs> hey, Sada. Is it you who removed that wretched curse from me? I am Sada from Ramia Village. I came to the shrine to rescue my girlfriend, Maria, from the goons. But instead, I was cast to stone by the evil wizard, Dallas. So, Sarah, we're actually playing East Books 1 and 2, which is on the TurboGrafx-16. Uh, it's a game from the 80s, but it's a really great game. I'm playing East 2 right now. I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but this is East 2. Oh, my. So you couldn't save Maria. I guess there was nothing you could do. I'm sure you tried your best addle. Yeah, I even tried the time magic. Since Maria is gone, I guess I won't be needing this sword anymore. Let me give it to you to show my appreciation of your efforts. We have found some amazing armor in the shrine. I have been keeping it at my father's house. You'll probably need this armor in your fight against the goons. Yeah, create yeah, the Cleria sword. Creating a brand is tough, but I, I think our Sarah's up to it. She she can do it. And if she ever needed help, she can totally pop on the Discord and ask for help, and I'm sure multiple people would be like totally into helping with that kind of thing, you know? Alright, so the armor's back at Ramia Village, so oop. Uh let's oh, I'm an idiot. Alright. Let's go over here and use this. Back to Ramia. So I gotta talk to Hadat. 
in this direction somewhere. I think Hadat's the one in this house. It did get out. Of, no, no, get get out of the way. Get don't get in the go get out of the house. Get out of the house. Thank you. Goons, hired goons. You decided to use a Pokemon. I mean, that's like that's perfectly except a lot of people use Pokemon. What are you saying, Chris? I went to talk to my brother and he wanted me to get him hot chocolate and I looked at him and I said, you big boy. And he just looked at me and said, and I said, you a man. Now keep looking at me. And I said, ah, oh, fuck it. You lazy. And then I just left his room. <laughs> I can imagine that. Like, hey, Chris, could you get me some hot chocolate? You get it yourself. You're a big boy. You're a man now. You keep looking at me. Ah, oh, fuck it. You're lazy. You know what, Chris? You and your brother are very much sounds and papyrus. Very much. Hey, is that the legendary pendant of the goddesses? This might be the wrong place. How did you get it? In the olden days, only the chosen few could go into the courtyard of the shrine. Legend has it that the pendant was the pass for the priests and goddesses to enter the yard. This is the wrong house, I think. But now the shrine is under control of the goons. Hired goons. And the pendant is of no use as a pest. No, no, Chris's brother is fine. He comes to the stream sometimes. His name is Locust of Karen. I actually haven't seen him in a while, but he's a good guy. They just, you know, they're just riffing on each other. No, I think it's down here then. I never run any... Oh, this is Hadad, right. That is our family sword. How did you get it? Did you see my son Sada? Oh, what a relief. You've saved him. Thank you so much. Please take this armor with you and return for your bravery. I got myself clear your armor. You lucky milk? Oh, come on. Your brother is all right, Chris. Jesus. I think he's a, he's an okay guy, but I think you two are very much like Papyrus and Sans. You're Sans, by the way. Or maybe you're Papyrus. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. All right, um... Okay, we're gonna... Come, really? You gonna be in my way? Just walk through me. Just walk through me, dude. All right, cool. All right, uh, now we gotta turn back into a Rue. The meeting is finally finished, yeah. Hey, by the way, Gray, um, can I kill these guys? Because, like, in the remakes, if I turn back into Adol while in front of them, they'll attack me. And you can you can fight them, and they're like they're like one of the hardest enemies in the game, and you can get like a shit ton of experience points. Never tried. Well, fuck. Let's save it and try, right? It doesn't hurt to try if I save it, right? Well, they're not mobilizing. Okay, and I can't even hit them. So they they are hostile, but I can't hurt them. You, you couldn't even hurt them in the remakes until you got the Clearia Sword, which is why I asked about it then, you know. So how long till the next level up? Let's see, we got uh, 85,000. That's not too bad. There we go. All right. All right, so I need to... Oop. Oh. I need to equip the gold pendant. Uh-uh. Nope. I keep hitting wrong buttons. Uh, so there's the silver one. There it is. Gold pendant. Shit. Gold pendant. All right. KFF2J is anal sauce. Yeah, some of the remake versions are pretty good, though. I think this one, right? No, I quit. I can take that off now, right? I think the PSP version is worth playing. Shaq Fu is anal sauce? Well, that, that's a pretty cold take, Chris. Oh, the PS1 version? I didn't like the PS1 version of Final Fantasy 2. It's better than the NES version, or the Famicom version. But the Game Boy Advance and PSP versions I did like. 
Alright, we got a boss coming up, don't we? Aren't we gonna fight, um... Dallas now? I have no idea what he's gonna be like in this battle. Um... I feel like... This isn't gonna do me no good. I don't think it matters what I, I don't think there's anything here that I can equip that's gonna help me in this battle. Um... And magic isn't gonna help me either. So let's just save the game. Because we gotta fight Dallas now. I don't know what this is going to be like in this version. So, you would like a chance to die, but then I, the great wizard, will give you that opportunity. I am a most generous man. Your magic is worthless against my superior power. Yeah, but I got a sword, bitch. You notice the sword? Oh, here we go. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Alright, so the remake, he's exactly like this. I'm taking a lot more damage than I'm giving. Oh, fuck. Okay, that wasn't too bad. No, this isn't the final boss. This, there's one more boss after this. I don't think I'm gonna win. Well, I don't know, maybe. If I get lucky. I think going straight through him helps. Yes! We got him! You're not a man, you're a pig! Adel will hear you squeal. Somebody's been watching Death Battle. Did y'all see, by the way, Dracula vs. Ganondorf Death Battle? I thought they did an excellent job with it. The animation was superb. I love that Dracula won. Sorry, spoiler alert. It was so cool. And speaking of which, did you see the Dracula vs. Vlad the Impaler epic rap battle of history? We leveled up, too. So what, am I level 59 now? Yes, okay. So we'll hit 90,000. We'll hit level 60, which I think is the cap. Yeah, first try, hell yeah, right? So, cause this game is actually pretty tough, so. Alright, so we, we killed Dallas. You don't like Death Battle? Oh, okay, but did, what about Epic Rap Battles of History? The Magic of Shield. Okay, so we got the, the Shield Magic, that's like kind of whatever. Um, I think I don't want to go any further until I level up again. Because I think that... We're very close to point of no return. So we're going to go back and grind. And I know where I want to grind, actually. Um, I'm missing the shield, though. Wait, you, they, give you, they give you the shield when you get to the core of East, right? We're going to go to the uh, Goddess's Castle. Oh, well, the Epic Rap Battle History just did... Um, Prince Vlad Dracul III, a.k.a. Vlad the Impaler, or Dracula, versus Count Dracula. And I think Vlad won by, like, a lot. So, okay, guys, um, actually, since we're gonna be grinding here, let's, uh, hold on. Since we gotta do a little grinding here to get myself to level 60, because, which I believe is the level cap. Did I watch Green Lantern versus Ben 10? Of course I did. Of course I did. You know what a big Green Lantern fan I have. But give me one moment. We're gonna, we're gonna cut the game audio here. And we're gonna play some East music from the remake version. Just give me a moment here. Whoa, that's not the song I was looking for. We're gonna pick up where we left off last time. Since I do have to grind, we might as well do it with some fun. East music, you say? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's a point in no return and oh what did I just do? Oh, time stop, no wonder. So we're gonna grind up until we get to the level 60. You think that the Ben 10 was the uh, most contested reaction outcome? No, I think the Superman versus Goku one was the one that everybody flipped their wigs on. So much that they redid it and still Superman won, which makes sense to me, but not a lot of people. So, does anybody have a favorite East song? Noun, do you happen to have a song from East that you really like?
You know what? There's the thing, like... They, it, it's exactly like the Superman versus Goku thing. Nope, never heard any of these songs. <laughs> like, because they said, yeah, oh, well, you didn't bring up this with Goku, you didn't bring up that with Goku. And their reaction was, well, yeah, that's fair, but we also didn't bring up a lot of stuff about Superman. You can't bring up every single aspect of a character in Death Battle. You just show a cool fight and pick a winner. You see Bruce Dickinson singing along to this? Dude, hell yeah. You're a Dragon Ball fan, Goku vs. Superman didn't bother you, nor should it. I mean, it's just a friggin' animation, and, like, people who take it seriously just bother me. But, uh, I've liked most of the death battles. There was, like, one or two that I was like, eh. But I really did enjoy Ganondorf vs. Dracula. I'm glad Dracula won. Because that's who I was kind of going for. I know there were a lot of people who were upset over Thanos versus Darkseid because a lot of people really don't know much about Darkseid and they think of Thanos as being this ultimate bad guy, you know, because of the MCU. What would I like to see on Death Battle? Um, geez, uh... I would like to see Adol be in a Death Battle. Maybe Adol versus Link or something like that. Although maybe they've overdone the Zelda thing, but I would love to see Adol Kristen because his abilities have been very wide and varied. And I mean, this is a guy who's just a swordsman, but he's killed gods. Like there'd been evil gods that he's killed. And we're about to kill our first evil god of the uh, E-series once I hit <laughs> level 60. Adol versus which, which Dragon Quest hero? Arus? Is it not going to the next song? Oh, there it goes. Like, which Dragon Quest hero would you have? All of them? Adult taking on every single Dragon Quest hero? Did I LOL when Kirby killed Boo from Dragon Ball Z? Well, here's the thing. I don't know anything about Dragon Ball Z other than the most basic shit. I have no idea who Boo is. You know what I mean? I have no idea. I just know that Kirby is pretty much an Elder God, and I don't see how anybody could possibly kill Kirby. You could mildly inconvenience him. Adol should be in Smash. I would love Adol to be in Smash, even if he was just like an assist trophy or something. I, I would love that sort of representation for the East series. I mean, we got, we got the Dragon Quest heroes in it, four of them at least. So why not? Why not Ys? Ys has been around even longer than Dragon Quest. Oh god, get away from me. Yeah, we're we're getting we're getting experience points very quickly. You don't fuck with Kirby. Yeah, I mean like I said, you, if you look at, like, the actual lore of Kirby, which is a crazy thing to say, because it's supposed to be this cutesy series about this puffball and whatnot, but, um, yeah, he's pretty much an elder god. The more they explain about Kirby, the more terrifying he becomes. And by the way, just so you guys know, when I watch Death Battle, I don't, I skip to the battle, and I watch, like, the, the intro stuff where they explain the fighters and their histories and everything later. And the reason I do this is because I want to go into it without too much foreknowledge. I want to try to make a, a guess on who's going to win and then see if I'm right without them telling me too much information. Yeah. You ever see that Dorkly video? It was like, what if Kurt Smash Brothers crossed over with uh, Street Fighter? Because like Ryu was in Smash, and it was like, oh, what if the Smash Brothers characters wound up in Street Fighter? And it was like all the Street Fighter characters were just terrified of all the Smash people. 
But they do give you the, the last shield. You get it in the Core of East, right? Let me heal up. Magneto versus Voldemort? I... I... Honestly... Here, here's the thing about Voldemort, right? He's an idiot. He's terrible. Magneto would crush him into paste. Shinnok. Cetrion. Kirby. You recognize this song, right, Gray? Hey, there's another one with knowing a lot about, uh... Dragon Ball. I know a lot about Dragon Quest. <laughs> And they're made by... Well, they're designed by the same guy. The designer, Akira Toriyama. Honestly, this is not going to take that long. I'm almost there. Is level 60 the cap, or can I go even further? Oh, yeah. No. Legi legitimacy will not work because of that helmet. I cannot see how... Uh, how Voldemort would be able to deal with... And, and Magneto's dealt with wizards before. And his, his daughter is a witch. Oh, you can go higher? Okay. Even without the helmet, he can resist telepathy? That's true. But the helmet helps him. And I doubt that uh, Voldemort's telepathic abilities are anywhere on the realm of uh, Professor X. Binky the Clown would crush Vol- I actually don't know who Binky the Clown is. Hulk versus Solomon Grundy. Um, Solomon Grundy would win that simply because he literally is already dead and can't really die. He Solomon Grundy is a zombie. The Hulk could tear him to pieces and Grundy would just eventually come back and give him a hard time. Well, he see, here's the thing, Sarah. Like, Scarlet Witch is awesome in the MCU. But the version of her in the MCU basically just has superpowers. Whereas in the Marvel comics, she not only has all those same powers, but she can also literally do magic. Like, she practices actual magic. Oh, we've leveled, haven't we? I got 90,000. I don't have the sound on, so I'm like... Let's keep going. I, I, let's keep going. I'm go I'll go to level 61. Xavier versus Homer Simpson. <laughs> Well, you gotta have a mind to read, right? I don't think that uh, Voldemort would be able to get an Avada Kedavra off against a foe like Magneto who can, like, fly and shit. And just... Because, yeah, like, it'll kill you if it hits you, but it's gotta hit you. You can dodge it. Oh, my God. I, I barely remember Garfield and Friends. Yeah, she's an actual witch in the comics. And uh, her power, which is really awesome, is she has the power to alter probabilities and reality itself. So she's actually super overpowered. Squirrel Girl versus Darkseid. Well, I mean, she beat Thanos. See, here's the thing. Like, it, like obviously, Th you know, Darkseid would just wipe the floor with Squirrel Girl. But, like, if Marvel was writing it, like, they would just say that, like, oh, by the way, Squirrel Girl beat Darkseid off camera. Or well, off panel, and there's nothing you can do about it, fanboys. They like to taunt people about the whole Squirrel Girl thing. I'm okay with Squirrel Girl um, having defeated, you know, like Deadpool and Thanos and Doctor Doom and whatnot. The one thing, the aspect of her character that I'm just that I'm not okay with, I don't like the implication that she dated Wolverine. <laughs> I'm not okay with that. Kefka versus the Joker. I mean, the Joker doesn't have any actual powers, so... It would have to be, like, Emperor Joker. Who would Pennywise fight? Is Kefka a fair match for Pennywise? Um... Probably. I think that, like, that's kind of unfair to Pennywise, though, because... Pennywise can only really hurt you if you're afraid of him, and Kefka's too insane to really be afraid of anybody. I 
I said I was going to go to level 60, but I'll go one one more level just because I'm enjoying listening to music and talking to you guys about nerdy bullshit. Because you guys know I love Joker versus Batman who laughs. I mean, that's going to happen in the comics one way or another, right? You know what, though? She could do it. She could totally create your reality where Sephiroth exists. I don't know if you'd really want to live in that reality. But God versus Satan. <laughs> Oh god, just... I mean, I don't know. I kind of think God might win that one. God's OP, please nerf. Make it to 62 at least? I don't know if I want to go that far. How about we'll, we'll get to level 61, we'll go fight Darm. If I lose, we'll level up again. Oh, oh. Okay, how about... How about Sephiroth versus a million very angry geese? Like, I'm pretty sure Sephiroth could kill an angry goose, but if there were a million angry geese, that's a lot of geese, you know what I mean? I think they could take Sephiroth down if there was a million of them. There'd have to be a million. Yeah, it's a good song title. Because, Gray, you were telling me make it to at least level 60. And now I'm level 61, and you're like, no, go to 62 at least. We'll try 61 and see how it works. Other than that, one problem I had with that one boss who was one-shotting me for no discernible reason, I am pretty good at this game. You know, honestly, I'm not getting... Uh very good returns on the purple guys. Looks like I have to prioritize the orange guys. Darm always gives you a good hard time. I mean, I'm very familiar with fighting him in the remake. I don't know how he's going to be in this version. Yeah, I'm not getting good experience from the purple dudes anymore, but the orange dudes are still pretty good. Actually, even that's not a lot. It's just sheer numbers is making it go up. You didn't even bother beating him for your practice run? To be honest, I'm looking at how long it's taking, and I might even just say fuck it. But I think we can get to... Because it's taking me this long to get a thousand. I don't think you're supposed to go above level 60. Little Mac versus the wireframe boxer from the punch hatter. Well, I think that was implied to be Little Mac. It's just they made him a wireframe so you can see through him. You know what, to be honest, guys, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I continue to try to get 95,000 experience points, or should I go try to fight Darm now? Because I don't think there's a better grinding spot than this right here. Miriam versus Shinoa. Ooh. Ooh. There isn't? Yeah, I didn't think so. Miriam versus Shinoa. I don't even know who would win. I think that Miriam has a huge advantage of being able to wield weapons. Whereas Shinoa has to use magic just to summon a sword for a single strike. So that might make all the difference there. So I think that Miriam does have more versatility. Because she's trained with weapons and martial arts. Whereas Shinoa only uses magic. Even when she's using a weapon, she has to summon the weapon and use a bit of her magic ability. The, the only disadvantage for um, for Miriam is that Shinoa's magic does replenish a lot faster. But I would have to say I'm on Team Miriam. Uh, even though I love Shinoa as a character. That's a really cool one. I like that idea. What about Zengitsu versus Alucard? I mean, I think it's obvious Alucard would win, but it would be a cool battle. Yeah, I think I have to just stick to this area because those purple guys give less experience. Shinoa can use Lord Dracula's power. Yeah, but it kills her. The only time that she can use the Dominus, which is Dracula's power, and not die is in his presence.
I also think that Miriam can take punishment a lot better than Shinoa can. Shinoa's squishy. So I, I really do think that Miriam would win that battle, but it would be so cool. You remember this ending track from the Saturn credits? What? Alucard's cute, so you're on Team Alucard? That's fair. That's valid. You're valid, Sarah. You don't think Zangitsu's is cute? Soma Cruz versus Gabriel Belmont. So Dracula versus Dracula? <laughs> I mean... Gabriel is way more vicious. But in the end, I think Soma has more power. And... The will to see it through. If if Gabriel got close to him, he'd rip his head off. But Soma's pretty good at that keep away game, you know. And Soma has a lot of experience with a lot of different types of weapons, including firearms. You like your bad boys, except Alucard. He, no, he's not a bad boy at all. He's very much the Bishon Bishonen that you take home to your mama. Mirian can copy way more abilities than Shinoa can. I mean, yeah, but like I said, I think that I think that Shino, I think that yeah, Miriam, yeah, Miriam just can deal out more damage, can take more damage, is a master of martial arts and weaponry without her magic abilities, and her magic abilities just make her pretty much unstoppable. But what were you saying, Gray, about Saturn credits? You've been trying to get better as Joker in Smash? Oh. Is he your main? Or are you trying to learn him? Hellboy versus John Wick? I mean... Okay, I like the John Wick movies are cool and all, but he's just some guy with guns. I mean... I think Hellboy's got that on lock. The ending song for East One. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, the Saturn version of East was based on East Chronicles, which is what the PSP... Because East Chronicles was released on PC originally in Japan, and the Saturn version was based on that, and then the PSP version and the Steam version are based on that same thing. Joker's your main? Cool. Is there anybody else that you play in Smash? I haven't played Smash. I don't have the Switch and everything, but... I'm just really interested. Have you played the Dragon Quest guys yet? The last Smash Brothers game that I played seriously, hey Manic Scarecrow, was um, Brawl on the Wii, and my main I had my main was definitely Meta Knight, but I also played uh, I played Pit, Wario, and Luigi as well. Yeah, we're doing like the death battle thing because we were talking about uh, death battle just a Dracula versus Ganondorf, and we we're just talking about hypothetical death battle. You don't know Banjo or the hero? Okay. I mean, getting the, the hero would be like number one priority for me just because Dragon Quest is like my favorite series. But... Get, get off of me, dude. There we go. Try to heal! Shao Kahn versus Bowser? Dude, Bowser... Bowser ain't gonna live that one. Hasn't Bowser lost every death battle he's been in? Virgil or Sephiroth? Um... Hmm. Okay, so I think that, like, in a knockdown, drag-out sword battle, Virgil would destroy him. But that's only if it was just a sword fight. I think that, uh... Like, with all powers in consideration, Sephiroth would easily win that. Easily. As long as magic is a factor, Sephiroth would win that. He was only in one? I could have sworn he was in more than one, but I know he lost. Dante versus Leon Kennedy? What? Leon's just a cop.
Oh my god, Manic, really? Manic, really? Really? I stopped teasing Moog about that shit like years ago. Y'all gotta lay off the dude. We're about halfway to the next level. Make an attempt at fucking up the last boss. Man, I don't know, this might be a shorter stream. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I wouldn't end it that early. I would just, like, do something else. But... Virgil will totally win in the one minute melee. I mean, I feel like I feel like I said if it just came down to sword skills and like fighting ability, Virgil absolutely would win. But like when you take into the the cosmic power and magic and stuff like that, I think Sephiroth has a pretty easy route there. I mean, he could like destroy the whole fucking solar system, you know. Or did Gibshi Noodle? Doctor Wily versus Hank Pym. Hank Pym from the comics or the MCU? <laughs> I mean, really, it would be just two guys throwing robots at each other, right? I'll see you, Gibsy Noodle, and raise you one honker boy. Ah, oh, come on. Hey, AJ. He's like, okay, so like, Dr. Wily versus Robotnik. They did that. They did that already. Metal Sonic killed everybody. But like, well, they said that Metal Sonic killed everybody, so they said, like, well, technically you could say that Robotnik won because Metal Sonic was his creation, but Metal Sonic won because he killed everybody. Ultron vs. Sigma. Somebody's been playing Marvel vs. Capcom 4. Um, I mean, Sigma wins easily. He. See, here's the thing. If Ultron was able to beat Sigma, um,. Sigma would be like, this is a more powerful body, and he would inhabit Ultron's body. Because Sigma is really just a virus. He's not really a... a Ultron... They did it in Ultron 1? That doesn't make sense. Sigma's a fucking virus. And he jumps from robot body to robot body based on what's more powerful. Dalek. I don't know nothing about the Daleks. I mean, when the Terminators just sort of kick them over, they look like trash compactor guys, you know? Like, they don't look very threatening. You've got to include a Gibsy boy, though. Uh, uh, uh. We got all kinds of good boys. We got doggos. We got geese. We got yeet wolves. Yeet wolves. By the way, do we have any tier two subs that can show Sarah? Sarah's uh, hasn't been here in a while. My new emoji. So here's the thing about, like, talking about, like, Wily and Dr. Pym. Like, Wily has more robots. Dr. Pym has better robots. Would it come down to Ultron versus base? Or would it be Ultron versus zero? Uh, let me know how that is, Greg, because I'm kind of interested in that new Terminator movie. Well, I don't know anything about Destiny, so I'd have to take your word for that. No ducks, fuck them. <laughs> Does anybody, is anybody here a tier two sub and can show off the, the, the new emote that I have? Or, or should I jump into the chat and show Sarah the new emote? Ah, now we're on the East 2 section of the soundtrack. Rom, uh, Lance Village. I mean, I've literally liked all of the Terminator movies, so... You didn't like Genesis? I loved it. I mean, it's not as good as, like, Terminator 1, 2, and 3, but I probably liked it a little more than Salvation. It was fun. Not one bit? Really? I, I enjoyed the shit out of it. Lantern Corps versus the Borg. I, no, the Lantern Corps would win that one. They've gone up against worse things than the Borg. I, I've liked all the Terminator movies. All right, hold on, Sarah. I'm gonna show you my new my new emote. It's at a tier two sub thing. I just think it's really cool. There it is. 
That's, that's our Yeet Wolf. Which actually we can thank Noun for that. Because uh, she came up with the term Yeet Wolf when she made a clip of a wolf yeeting himself out of... Uh, Parallax versus the Dark Phoenix. Um, wow, that's interesting. The Phoenix Force is a cosmological threat, but so is Parallax. But I think the Phoenix would probably win that. Does that mean you mean the Phoenix Force, not just like Jean Grey? Oh, yeah, there's always those moments where you're like, huh? Huh? Grease? Terminator? But Genesis was such a fun movie. I, I really enjoyed it. Well, me and AJ watched it together. We both loved it, but... Yeah, there were a few moments that were like, huh? Time travel? Plus, any movie that has J.K. Simmons in it can't be all bad, right? Let's be real. Hmm. Matt Hill. I don't know... Who's Matt Hill? I don't know who Matt Hill is, to be honest with you. Is that somebody I should know? Who'd Matt Hill play? I mean, honestly, like my like my order for Terminator movies would be that one was the best one. Two was second best. And then after that would be three. And then five, which is Genesis. And then Terminator Salvation would be last. With the caveat that I did enjoy it, I just enjoyed it less. Have I watched One Minute Melee? Uh, no, I, I haven't. I, as a matter of fact, you mentioning it earlier, Sarah, is the first time I've ever heard of it. You felt T2 aged better than T1? Uh, I disagree. Terminator 1 had more going for it, in my opinion, because it... It had... It had more to it. Like, it was more... Than just an action movie with a little science fiction. It was action, science fiction, film noir, horror. It really like hit on everything that I like. Oh, hey Terry, I didn't see you come in. Yeah, so Terry, you didn't really like Rise of the Machines. I liked it for what it was. I I think I liked it more the last time I watched it. T3, like, I think T3 gets a lot of hate simply for not living up to the first two. And that's fair. It doesn't. It, it is definitely a step down from the first two. But, um, Judge Dredd versus the Punisher. Well, Dredd would win that for you. He's the super, the, uh, super futuristic weapons, you know? But anyway, um... I think if you, if you take it out of the whole comparing it to Terminator 1 and 2 thing... It is one of the coolest fucking action movies. You've never watched any of the Terminator movies? Well, I mean, I would I would recommend them. I think you would like them. But I mean, I would I would want to start it like start at the beginning. Like the first one's kind of old. It was made in the 80s, but it still holds up. The second one's a, a classic action movie. After that, you know, opinions differ. But I like them all. And I'm very interested to see Terminator 6 or Dark Fade or whatever the fuck they're calling it. You want to watch Deadpool movies so badly? Well, do it. And what's stopping you? Deadpool. I've seen both Deadpools. I haven't seen like that Once Upon a Deadpool, which is like a PG-13 version of Deadpool 2 with some extra scenes in it. Yeah, Terminator 3 was interesting because I went into it expecting it to be kind of bad because literally everybody was like, oh god, it sucks, you know, worst thing ever. And I went into it with very low expectations and wound up really liking it. And I think tempering your expectations is like the biggest part of that. A Ninja Gaiden hack called Deadpool. Of which Ninja Gaiden? The NES one? How would I rank all the Aliens movies? Oh boy. All right. So... Okay, that's easy for me, uh, but best one is Alien, the first one. Just one of my favorite science fiction horror movies ever made. Awesome movie. Um, second best, Aliens. It doesn't live up to the first one, but it's so fucking good. Um, after that would be probably Alien Covenant. 
and then Prometheus. And then after that, I basically don't like any of the other ones, so it's like, which ones do I hate more than, you know, the others? So I would say that Alien 3 is the, the best worst one, so to speak. It's like the, the best worst, best of the worst Alien 3. Then Alien vs. Predator, which is just like insanely stupid, but I could, I could sit and watch it. Um, then it would be Alien Resurrection, which was just wretched. And then dead last, Alien vs. Predator Requiem, which was just... I don't even understand why it was made, because it was obviously subpar. So, so like I said, it would be Alien, then Aliens, then Covenant, and then Prometheus, and then basically I kind of don't like any of the ones after that, but... Just, you know, one or two that I could watch. Which song is this? One second. I'll tell you the name of it. This is, um, Dreaming. I think this is what plays when you're in the, um, like the shrines near the uh, runes in East 2. But that, that would be my ranking of the Alien films. We're very close to the level up I'm looking for here. What about the Doom movie? <laughs> Did you guys know that there's a second Doom movie and then it like literally just came out like last week or something? November is like the Thursday of the year. Wisdom from the Robin Hood of cheap plastic lighters, king of all nerds, Dr. Barrel himself. Okay, Doom the movie, I, I don't really take it seriously as a movie based on Doom, and I don't really take it seriously as an action movie in general, but I did enjoy watching it. Paul! Paul, thank you for the sub at Tier 2. You've now been three months. Show off your Gibsy Noodle. Show off your Honker, and most importantly, because you're a Tier 2, show off your yeet wolf yeet. it's 2 a.m wow i used to stay up that late all the time and then i got old <laughs> there's the gizzy noodles there's the honky boys the first alien movie is absolutely the see here's the thing with a lot of these movies these series, because Terminator and Alien are very similar in that sense, is that they become pure action and science fiction afterwards. Only the first Terminator movie has um, horror elements to it. And only the first Alien and also Covenant have horror elements, which is why I like Covenant so much. They brought the horror elements back. More than that, it's the time change. Oh, do you have like, like, like jet lag? <laughs> so to speak. I should be getting swarmed by enemies here. Are those tallies emotes or is that somebody else? Barrel. Chris, thank you so much for the bits. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Ooh, 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 ooh. We got some boss music. I haven't seen the first Mad Max in so... I probably... Like, if you asked me to rank Mad Max, I couldn't do it because it's been way too long since I've seen the first one. But I have to say that I absolutely loved Fury Road. Like, Mad Max 2 and 3 are all good and everything, but 4 is so fucking excellent. You know, I actually have Alien Isolation, but I haven't played it yet. I'll play it one day. I don't know if it's something that I'd want to do for YouTube or stream. Maybe stream. I think it might be more of a stream type of game. I don't know. You've heard that the first Mad Max is a big old snore fest? I mean, yeah, I guess if you're an idiot, you would think that, right? <laughs> well, action RPGs are very different. I like action RPGs, but I, you know, it's a different thing. Like, this is technically an action RPG that I'm playing right now.
But what what action RPGs have you played, um, Sarah? Previously, AJ called Alien Isolation Diary of the Simulator. Yeah, he, he, they did say it was scary. Come on, we're almost leveled here. Stop giving me the purple guys. Oh, come on, one more enemy. Next enemy levels me. There we go. Okay, guys. Give me one second here. Oh my god, dude. Manic, I'm so glad you brought that up because Planet of the Apes is literally my favorite series of movies. And I hated that version. Hated it. Hated it. Loved every other Planet of the Apes. Even like the bad one, like Battle for the Planet of the Apes wasn't that good. Still 10 orders of magnitude better than the uh, Tim Burton film. You still must see War for the Planet of War for the Planet of the Apes. Okay, I'm going to give you my opinion, Gray, because I'm assuming you saw Rise and Dawn, right? I'm, I'll wait for you to answer. You saw Rise and Dawn, though, right? Because it's kind of important that you've seen those. Okay, you've seen those? Okay, so it's not as good of a film as Dawn, but it's amazing. It's a spectacle, but you have to go into it knowing that it is really insanely sad. All right, guys, so we're ready. We're ready for the last leg of this game. Let me go in here uh, just to recoup a little magic. You saw the Tim Burton one in the theaters? Oof, that's rough. Okay. The final battle is near. I have told the... Oh, we've already heard this. Okay. I love the Hulk. Ang Lee movie. I thought it was great. I think people misunderstood it. I think that if it was released today, I mean, they'd have to touch up the CGI a bit, but if it was released today, people would have been all over it. They would have loved it. Is that as bad as when we saw Turtles in 3 in theaters as kids? See, I think as a kid, you can kid yourself, so to speak, into thinking that it was decent. You know, Turtles 3. I saw Turtles 3 in, uh, in, the, in the movie theater with my parents and everything, and um, it... it it wasn't good, but I still kind of enjoyed it because I was seeing a Ninja Turtles movie in the theater. I hadn't seen the first two in theaters, so it was kind of exciting, but yeah, I knew, I knew it was like not good. It, it wasn't good at all. All right, so um, let's... Oh, not that, not that. We're going to go back to... Um, Ramya makes the most sense. It was the wizard bad. See, I saw The Wizard when I was like nine years old, so I didn't realize how bad it was, you know? Like, it's basically a ripoff of Pee-wee's Big Adventure, if you think of it. Dude, can you get out of my way? Come on, out of my way. Move, bitch. Get out the way. You saw Cars 2 in the movie theater as a kid, even though as a kid it was garbage? I've, I probably have seen enough bits and pieces of Cars 2 when my nephews were little. That I've probably seen the whole ass movie. But I don't know. Alright. But if I was to level up again, how far how long would it take? Oh, 9999. Nine, 99,999. So is level 62 the cap, Gray? Because it looks like level 62 is the cap. I, probably, I haven't seen a lot of Pixar movies, but out of the ones I've seen, the one that I enjoyed the most was um, Wally. Wally was fucking spectacular. Uh, no, I need to go here and put this on. Shut up. Crest of East is engraved upon it. Yeah, we know. Okay. And then we can whoop, put this on. No, I, I believe you. I've heard. I've heard the cars too is bad. Pee Wee's Big Adventure mixed with Rain Man. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Was I supposed to go this way? Uh. I think. I think I am supposed to go here. Actually. Yeah. Uh. I. Yeah. I haven't actually watched Up. I've heard it was excellent, but um, I really liked Wally. Oh, you guys got some opinions, huh? The first ten minutes of Up is fucking spectacular. Isn't that like where it's like ultra sad, Barrel? All right, 
Let's save it too. I haven't done that in a bit. Very ultra sad. Yeah, I've heard that. So here's where we fought Dallas. We can go through here. They gotta give me the shield, right? Because I'm still... Okay, we've, we're in it. We're in the ancient core of East. It looks cool in this. It looks way cooler in the remake, to be honest with you. But um, this does look pretty boss. But... Great, they're going to give me the Goddess Ring and the Clearia Shield, right? Try to... Oh, he's talking. This part reminds you of Fantasy Star 4. That's a good comparison. It does have that techno-organic kind of look to it. Fantasy Star 4 was awesome. What a great game. Ratatouille is your favorite Pixar film? I've heard good things about that, too. It's pronounced Adol, Maria. They need to up the mix on this. I can barely hear her. The original Fantasy Star is still your favorite. I think Fantasy Star 4 is better, but not by much. Fantasy Star, Fantasy Star 1 is really good. I don't care that I'm talking over here. I can barely hear her. I mean, like I said, my favorite Pixar movie is definitely Wally, but that's just based on the fact that I haven't seen that many. I've seen, like, Wally. I've seen Toy Story 1. I know I've seen Cars 1. I don't know how many others I've seen. That's like off the top of my head. Uh, huh. Interesting. That's a dead end. Am I missing a trick here? Oh, I've seen Incredibles. What? Is it is it me or is this a fucking dead end? Do I have to do something here? Fantasy Star 2 and 3 are rough. I did not like 2. I liked 3, but I did not like Fantasy Star 2. Just keep go Keep going where? Uh, 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 look. Go where? Uh, this way? Oh, no, there's nothing there. Oh, oh there we go. I had to go back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is a little different. Oh, it's Keith. Okay. If you travel down this passage, you will eventually reach the, reach the goddesses. On the way, you will find Decca. He will assist you. If Fantasy Star 2 was such a disappointment, I should stream that whole series one day just to show you how good 1, 3, and 4 are and how not good 2 is. It's pronounced Adel. I don't know. I'll find out. I'm surprised that you see a flash of black around the next corner. The volume mixing is so bad in this part. Someone has just been through here. It's Lilia. I'm glad that so many people agree with me about Fantasy Star 4, 2, rather, because, like, I always thought that that was so beloved, and I played it, and I was like, eh, this isn't that good. Okay, so you're going to give me what? The harmonica, the ring, the shield? What are you giving me? The ring, okay. Final Fantasy VI is another popular one that disappointed me, but it wasn't pure ass. I know I loved it, but I know Sarah thinks it's pure ass. I should probably just equip that now, actually. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's a slow game, Fantasy Star Two. I know that ring. I remember seeing it in my dream. It is the ring of the goddess. I am sure the ring has the power to lead us to the goddesses. Oh, um, there we go, okay. Uh, I still need the shield and the harmonica, but, hmm.
Is that where Darm is? At the shield and the harmonic are coming. Oh, it's like, this looks like a boss door. That's why I was like, what the hell? Oh, I can't even. Oh, the goddesses are right here. I'm an idiot. I see them right there. An eerie voice echoes from inside the room. Goddesses are in a hopeless situation. Oh, hello, Darm. There is no way that you can defeat me now. A fight without the power of the goddesses doesn't scare me. Seven hundred years ago, I almost had the whole country of East under my control. But those forsaken goddesses managed to lock me up. I have suffered ten thousand years of humiliation, and I After all that cringy voice acting, we suddenly get good voice I acting. Avenge my anguish. Now, my time has finally come. The world of East will soon be mine, and I will show them all just how wicked we demons can be. I mean, Final Fantasy VI is my favorite. Fi Animal, Ooh. you know well that I cannot let you do that. East is now back where it belongs. Don't you forget about me. We've reached the surface. I am the bandit, Gobon. Okay, go on. So, Final Fantasy VI is my favorite Final Fantasy that has a number in the title, but my favorite Final Fantasy is Tactics. Adel, it looks like I got here right in the nick of time. Please play this silver harmonica. Goban throws the harmonica to Adel. I don't understand why Goban had the harmonica, though, but that, that's one thing I'll never understand. Alright. We gotta equip it, though. We get to play the song! Tactics Advance is not nearly on the level of the first Tactics. I know Luther has the shield. I just... He's already there in the remake. It's a little different. Hey, Luther. Adolf. Where have you been? It's right here, Gemma. asshole. I've brought you the Shield of Claria. You must have this to fight off Darn. Use it wisely. So wait, does the game not explain that all of these guys, including Tarf, are all descendants of the sages? Because that's why they're all here. You've reached the final battle against Darn. It's time you showed him what a great swordsman you truly are. Explains it in the post game. Okay. This is the final showdown between good and evil. Our fate lies in the balance. Because in, in the in the newer versions, it, it explains it beforehand. Tarf is actually the one that it tells you. Oh, Adol. How I it's Adol. I know. I remember you, Fina. I'm glad I didn't have to escort you through a dungeon. Noun is actually really correct. The enormous black pearl in the rear room. If you can shatter the pearl, then they will lose their evil flame. So he is a pearl. A chance to defeat them forever. I mean, I, I thought you said he wasn't a pearl in this version. All your courage to destroy their evil energy. Of course I'm going to save. Adel, all my love. Noun actually is correct. Like, when cats throw their faces on things, like... Their cheeks have their scent glands in it. They're they're marking their shit. They're like this mine, this mine, this mine. Hey, Ray. You gonna talk, Ray? I owe you more than you can ever imagine. His pearl form shows when Adel lands a hit. Oh, okay. Wait. All oh, right. In this version, she calls herself Lair, which what? No, you're Ray. You're Ray. R E A H, not Lair. He tried to use the magical power of Claria to release the demons, <laughs> which have been sealed up for hundreds of years. Yeah, you're like, this mine, this mine, this mine. the entire land, but greed has its limitations, and you cause the demise. So yeah, still not as done as calling Dogie Colin. That's when correct. When we sealed the demons in, we also buried the magical mineral Claria deep within the ground. Several hundreds of years have passed, and Claria has since been excavated as silver. You know the rest of the story. I am also a doggo person for life, but you knew that, Sarah. I mean, cats are great. 
sinister of all but dogs are amazing boy Lair has a lot to say or Ree has a lot to say my ring for this dangerous showdown the ring can weaken the power of evil and my blessing can give your sword the force of east courage to the end so I should probably equip the goddess uh your sword begins to glow. This is the final battle. Good luck. So I should probably put the shield magic on. And... Actually, I was thinking... Since I spent the money on it... Where is it? There it is, right there. The life drop. Let's save it. Don't put the magic on yet? Oh, oh right, because it counts down. Right, 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 right. Well, in, in the remakes, you have to put it on before you go in there because you can't access the menu when you're fighting in boss rooms. So, you're right. You're right, though. I can see it going down. All right. In the, in the new versions, you can't access the, uh, the menu in boss rooms. Here we go. This part looking badass. Yep. This looks right. Yep, here we go. Hey, Darm. He's gonna be like, I am pure evil. Hey, Darm. I am pure evil. My followers and I were born from the dark magic of the black. Yeah, that's a face only a mother can love. Uh, hopefully not. Oh, 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 oh. I can't access the menu. Why did you tell me not to equip the damn shield magic? Or at least I have the, the life drop. This teleporting shit is not what I'm used to. I don't think I'm going to beat him this time. He is a boner biting uncle fucker. The ring will slow down the meteors. Yeah, but I can't I can't change equipment here, so. So I see what you mean about the ring being useful here, but. Is it me or am I not damaging that much? Nah. Shut your fucking face, Uncle Fucker. You fucked your uncle all day long, Uncle Fucker. That's not the lyrics, actually. You, you fucked it up. Alright. Okay, let's um let's try that better. Okay, so um yeah, let me Ooh. So let's definitely put the shield magic on and I'm gonna try your advice and just equip the goddess ring. Cause you like yeah, you can't access the the menu once you're in here. You don't eat no sleep, not the long, you just fuck your uncle all day long. <laughs> I'm a little over South Park, but that part's still funny. Blame Canada is a good song. I mean, they, they fucking nominated it for a freaking Oscar. God, he's got a lot of health. The teleporting is different. I wish you can see what this looks like in East 2. Well, I mean, you can look at my Let's Play. But the Steam version, it's way different. Stop teleporting! The background looks fucking awesome. I, I still... It's so amazing this game came out in the fucking 80s. The unfortunate thing is... I can't... Switch to the uh, elixir after this, like... I think I have to get a little lucky in his placement. Not having the ability to switch sucks. Because it would be great to have both the shield magic 
and the life drop and the goddess ring, but fuck, I'm gonna die. Okay, it's not even a real country anyway. Luck plays. Her. I mean, you know, it, it, you say, well, 1989. That was the 80s, was it not, sir? All right, let's try it with the life drop this time. I don't think that leveling up any more than... I mean, there's only one more level up I can get. I don't think it would make that much of a difference. I'm so glad it cuts the scene out if you've already seen it. Asshole. Piece of shit. Oh my god, at least stay for me to hit you at least once. You piece of shit. I don't like this guy. Is this making up for the fact that Dark Fact was so easy? Wait, do I not have the shield magic on or it ran out already? Okay, yeah. They can cut your dick in half and feed it to a pig. And though it hurts, you laugh and do a dickless jig. La resistance. Nah, he only has the one form. Okay, I think the ring is necessary. He doesn't do meteors in the remake, too. He's like all lightning and bullet hell shit. But it all comes from him. I feel like I'm not doing enough damage. That wasn't bad, but it's gotta be better. That's the worst Cadbury cream egg ever, right? Thank fucking Palatini, he's only got one for him. Yeah, it looks like I do need the ring. I wanna try it. Uh, it's not as badly designed as the vampire battle, but um, yeah. We're gonna put that ring on right now and uh, oh, damn it. Yeah, I know. Like I said, I don't think leveling up again is going to make enough of a difference. I think I just have to get a little bit lucky with the meteors and where he... Actually, it's more where he appears and how often he teleports. Because sometimes he appears in one spot for like half a second, and sometimes he's there for like a while. Damn it. And how fucking long he makes you walk to get to him. Fuck you fucking piece of shit. Piece of shit. Oh my god, stop fucking trolling me. Oh my god, you fucking asshole. I can see why they redesigned this boss completely. Did you see that shit? Oh my god. He's trolling the shit out of me right now. Actually, not doing too bad right now. The beginning part was better, I'd feel confident about this, but I don't. Oh god, really? I'm trying to be aware of where those meteors are and dodge them a little bit. Motherfucker! Not looking to check, guys. Sorry. It's interesting, I don't seem to need to move or to hit him. Oh, why would you do that? Ah, oh, I was doing good until there. I was doing good there. Well, I'm using an Xbox controller, so I don't gotta worry about that. Alright, everything's the same. I'm over South Park. I think South Park lost its touch a few years ago. Adult Sprite makes it look like he's wearing overalls? What? Oh, that's funny. So, I was very unlucky in the beginning of that battle, but then in the middle I had a streak of good luck, and then in the end it all kind of went to shit. So it's all about where he appears, and how long he stays there. Piece of shit, come on. You're trash. I'm gonna tear you apart.
Okay, that one bad. Damn it. All those had to hit me. Fucking piece of shit. I'm gonna get this fucking guy. Well, that was a good that was a good attempt. That was a good attempt. Your goal was to have him like depleted before the shield magic crapped out. That's not possible even on the remake. Unless you're playing on very easy mode. Uh, oh, you're talking about that Netflix show? I haven't watched it. You know what, let me tell you, um, what do you guys think is more hype? This or Undyne the Undying in Undertale? I was definitely sweating more for Undyne. Come on, Darm. Alright, here's where I start taking damage. I feel like the meteors have gotten fast again. I always get him to write about, like, a third of his health, and then all of a sudden I can't hit shit. Stay determined. I don't have a fucking Rota nut, I don't think. I'll look at- if I die this time, I'll look. I mean, I could always, like, try to warp- I don't- I think I might be able to warp out of here. I don't know. Or actually, if I talk to the goddesses, will they replenish my magic? Because I lost a little bit before I came over here. The goddesses might replenish me. Up here in the middle like that, you piece of shit. I can't hit you there. Come on, I'm not trying to fucking... My god. Oh my god, stop that, you piece of shit. This may be the worst attempt yet. God damn. God darn. Stop making me chase you everywhere, you piece of shit. This is actually really aggravating when he makes you chase him like that. Why bother? He's just gonna... Yeah. Yeah, just kill me. Oh, God. What are you guys talking about now? Jesus. I see why you hate this fucker. All right, let me try something real quick. Let's, uh... Oh. Let's, uh... Do that. Let me see if I can go back and talk to the goddesses and get my magic, um, replenished. I have just a little bit more magic, you know? Really? You won't replenish my magic? What if I was to go in here and... Oh, don't do that. You really can't replenish my magic. The goddesses of East. And I... I do have a nut. Alright, hold on. Let's use it. Where? Uh... 
Oh, there it is. Ah! Oh, he's pressing wrong buttons. Alright. So let's see if I can open the door, put the thing on, and then save. I'll save before I try opening the door, though. Nope. That ain't gonna do it. I was trying to just open the door without going through it. Well, this ain't. This is gonna be a fail. <laughs> you feeling sick? I'm sorry to hear it. I hope you feel better soon. Oh, what? Why is it doing the cutscene again? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why are we doing this again? I've heard it before, Darm. 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 Listen. Listen. You were born from an anus. Okay? It was a giant anus. It was like a unicron-sized anus. That's what That's what birthed you. Okay, Darm? That's, that's how I feel about you right now. Okay. Get some rest, Sarah. Feel better soon. This isn't even bullet hell. I could deal with bullet hell. This is going to be a total fail, because I don't even have the shield magic on. I do that. ain't going to work. He's the source of all magic. Just fucking kill me. <laughs> Laughing Starscream is the perfect for that. It's a unicron size anus, right? Okay. All right. Let's, let's not worry about trying to open the door and then doing the save. Let's just do this and... This. Go. Alright. Hopefully that makes a difference. I want to try to, like, just open the door but not go through it, but I kind of failed at that. It might be possible, but I'm unwilling to try again. No cutscene, please. God, imagine if I had to watch the cutscene every time. Oh my god, you're trash, Darm. I just want to say that on the on the Steam version, I have beaten this guy on Nightmare Mode, and it wasn't as frustrating as this. Because it wasn't random. We're gonna get this fucking guy. Oh god. Fucking! And then hit me every step of the way. I'm trying to dodge the damn things. Not looking to chat, guys. Not looking to chat. You piece of shit. Oh my god, stop teleporting before I even hit you one time. And he keeps appearing in the middle where I can hit him. No. I feel like these dodgeballs are getting faster. Oh my god, really? It It's like once he gets to a third of his health, he does the SNK thing. Nah, he's not the worst boss in an East game. The, the vampire was way worse than this shit. Vampire was broken. This is randomness. But, um... You can still make clips on mobile. Did I ever save? What do you mean save again? Why would I need to save again? Piece of sh fucking asshole. Oh my god. This is what pisses me off, when I can't even get to him. He shouldn't be allowed to appear hovering over the middle. I'm gonna crack your egg face open. Part of the problem is how little damage I'm doing. And considering I'm using the best weapon in the game, 
and I'm at a ridiculously high level, I don't think I can improve that very much. Not to a point where it would matter. Fuck. Stay determined, stay determined. Super Turbo Bullshit 64. You know what? I'm not going to go near the middle or the top. I'm going to stay down here and try to dodge the meteors. And when he appears near me, I'll hit him. When he's not going to appear near me, I ain't going to go... I ain't going to chase the bitch down. Fuck. I think I have a good idea, but once again, I got, you get him down to a third of his health and he won't go near you. Poop an egg barrel. Poop him an egg barrel. Well, I could always load my save if I needed to. But then I'd have to watch the fucking cutscene again. I mean, 251 is higher than where I was at, like, 230 somewhat. So, yeah. It only ticked down one there. Hardest final boss in an East game is... Yeah, well, Oath and Felgana had the hardest final boss by far. Oath and Felgana was just hard in general. Why am I... Don't chase him. Don't chase... Well, I kind of should chase him when I have the shield magic because I don't want to waste it. Because it ticks down whether you're getting hit or not. It just ticks down faster when you get hit. Stop appearing over the fucking pit, or I can't walk, you piece of fucking asshole, shit, fuck, dickhead, dickass, cunt, mastered, adult, contemporary, Christian jazz, douchebag, cockface, doo doo head. I don't like you. Alright, shield magic's gone. I wish, I so wish that I could. Like, when I was near dead, death, switch over to the life drop, or whatever the fuck it's called. It's the elixir, but they're called it, like, life drop or some shit. Okay. The one thing that I've noticed that I'm using to my advantage when I can is that there can only be three meteors on the screen at the same time. Fuck. Now he's just doing the thing where he won't come down here. I don't like you, Darm. Fuck you. That amount of health is the most I've ever gotten him down to. Your connection died in the middle of my V-chip Cartman attack round. Okay. Well, don't let this stop you guys from ever making clips, by the way. Everybody always says, oh, that would make a great clip. Like, you can clip it. It doesn't matter if you're on mobile. This guy's a piece of shit. Yeah, but if my, if my magic gets, like, too low, I could always just go back to the save by uh, hitting load. I'd have to watch the fucking cutscene again, but... How many tries did this take you, Gray? Oh my god, stop! Stop it! Oh my god, I feel like I'm yelling at Gibbs. Stop it, stop it, stop it, move! All day long, fuck, 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 will I sing this song? Fuck, 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 all day long, fuck, 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 will I sing this song? Fuck! Asshole. 
I'm doing slightly better, so now he's teleporting all over the place. Okay, okay. Come on, what do you what do you got? What do you got, dude? Show me what you got. You got what? Blue balls? You have three of them. You have three balls, and they're blue. Not impressive. Not impressive. I've had blue balls, and I only had two, and I made it work. Come on. Okay. I'm noticing something. I thought the meteors were random. They're not. They track you. So if I just move back and forth like this, I get hit less. Meteors are not random like I thought. They do track you. Got him! Y'all. 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 Bitched. Bitched. Once I noticed that, like, wait a minute, they're not random. They're tracking me. Back and forth, back and forth. And I wasn't trying to chase him. I'm just going back and forth. And he kept appearing in front of me. It was a little bit of luck, but it was... It was realizing there was indeed a pattern to it. Balls, 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 blue balls of steel. Blue balls of steel. Blue, 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 blue balls, 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 balls of steel. <laughs> AJ noticed it right away. It took me a minute. I realize it. You know, we, we've beaten the game. Let's see the ending. Dude, this this was a great version. I definitely prefer the Steam versions, but uh, yeah, this is great. Everyone's face sparkles with happiness. Fina and Ree, the descendants of the six priests, and Lilia are all waiting for you. So they do tell you it's the descendants, they just wait till you after you've beaten Darm. Adel, you did it. You've overcome the impossible. My full name is Tarf Hadal. I am a descendant of the ancient priest Hadal. Hey, Darkling Kitty. Yeah, it's definitely easier to notice from the audience seats. You really only showed up just to see the successful attempt? There, it wasn't that bad. Like, I didn't have that many unsuccessful attempts. But it was pretty, pretty, pretty rough there. Your fighting skills are dazzling. What a joy to see you slash Darm to oblivion after he had ripped our lives apart. I must admit, however, I was still a bit worried about the powers of the Black Pearl. But when I heard the shattering sound of crystal... I knew our lives were safe. So now we can enjoy our peace and freedom without the looming presence of doom. I know I should be smiling, but I can't hold back my tears of joy. Tarf, please don't cry, or you'll make me cry too. My full name is Maria Misa. The wizard Dallas wanted me as his sacrificial lamb. Oh, you're leaving already, DK? Well, thanks for coming by. He brought my. He thought my kind. Let's try that again. He thought my cries of anguish would bring the other descendants out of hiding. The reason why I didn't die was because of my, the protection of the priest's bracelet. The demons were frantic in their attempts to exterminate us. I noticed how they changed it from goons to demons at the end. I mean, in the new versions, it's always been demons, but like they've been saying goons for a while. And they believe they had awakened the goddesses. They knew that they had to kill us, or they themselves would face annihilation. Bedroom mood music, right? I could fuck to this. So they began sacrificing the villagers in a process of genocidal elimination. The peace has now returned to our world at the cost of many villagers' lives. So we will build a memorial on top of the belfry to commemorate their courage. Adel by gosh, you did it. I knew you could free. I knew. Let's try that again. I knew you could from the first time I met you in Ramia Village. Nah, he ain't into her. We all felt you were the chosen one who would lead our land to freedom. I feel like I like. I kind of think of Adel as being almost like asexual, but I actually my thought on it is that he is in love with Fina, and that's why no other woman could compare to her, and that's why he never gets with any of the women in the East games. By the way, I'd like you to come by our village soon. Everyone wants to see you. Evan is getting better, and he wants to congratulate you as your success. On your success. What is wrong with me today? It's me, Keith. You probably didn't recognize me without my pale green tint. 
Since you eliminated the source of evil, my green goon curse was lifted. Green goon curse sounds like something you'd look up on unurbandictionary.com and then you really wish you had it. Now I can live as a human again. What a horrific experience I have had. I really thought I would die in Burn Bless Prison. My life passed in front of my eyes, and I then I focused on a single moment. I remembered watching a beautiful sunset with my dear sister. She remarked on how she believed that not all the goons were bad. He's the caveman, what? Moments later, we were ambushed by a pack of demons. The next thing I knew, she lay dead at my feet. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to rain on this celebration. Ah, oh, that's nasty, Wayne! Better than the blue waffle curse. You're a sick man, I approve. This is a time for joy and happiness. Let me express my appreciation once again. Thank you very much. Adel, you've done a great job. I can remember watching Darm Tower from the ground. Suddenly, I saw a bolt of light burst from the top of the tower into the skies. Wish you could play the MST3K waffle song. <laughs> Ew, wait, yeah. I never imagined that the bolt was actually you. You are a leader of men and a model of coverage, Al courage, Adel. <laughs> Keith looks like he's dressed like a caveman. I think it's pro he was probably, like, naked when he turned back into, like, uh, a human, so they probably just had some, like, rags or something. They, they get here, just like, like, just wrap this around you. We need a soul like yours to inspire our devastated land and to restore our prosperity. We need your help. Please stay with us in Asteria. Yeah, he ain't staying. He's gotta go to Salceda and all that shit. Adel, you are wonderful. Let us, let me tell you about a strange dream I had before coming here. In the dream, a mystic voice of harmony told me to go to Solomon Shrine. She told me that the great land of East was coming down from the skies. When I awoke, I looked up to find East right in front of me. I rushed into the shrine because I knew you must be in great danger. It was then that I gave you the silver harmonica. I know, that was like five minutes ago, dude. Adel, you have changed our lives. It was the magic power of East that kept the land floating in the sky, out of harm's reach. Notice, by the way, that Adel doesn't have any magic points. Not only because he ran out, but it's like zero, zero, zero out of zero, zero, zero because he destroyed the source of magic. So, like, from this game forward, the only th like, you would never use, like, magic again. You would use magic artifacts to do things, but you could never, like, just cast spells again. And it was from the same power that the e evil was created. Opposites born from the same source. Magic is mysterious indeed. We created the magic to make a better life, but we allowed ourselves to be manipulated. How ironic that we could be controlled and terrorized by our own innovations. We sometimes allow our materialistic greed to overcome our simple needs. You did get off the soapbox and let me, like, see the rest of the game ending, okay? The only real need we have is love. All we need is love. Alright. I didn't realize you were John Lennon. What are, you, what are you doing? Anyway, the piece is back. The piece is back. <laughs> All we are saying is give peace a chance. <laughs> we should all be grateful. Oh, by the way, Dogi was looking forward to seeing you. Oh, Adel, how glad I am to see you. I was awfully worried when you started out on your final battle. And now you are back alive. I... I... Let it out, Lilia. I know you've got a crush on Adel. Come on, go for it. Oh, please, Gobin, don't embarrass me. Our land was ripped apart over 700 years ago. I know, I played the prequel. We haven't seen our relatives since. Thanks for the John Lennon moment. I, I thought it was funny, yeah. But you have provided us with this remarkable reunion. This is a most marvelous day. Oh, she wants him bad. The thirstiest East girl ever is Lilia. Now that the magic power has remo been removed, our presence here is no longer needed. It's time that the people start believing in themselves. 
Before we subside, we will make sure that only we, the goddesses, control the magic. And the people will have peace and happiness forever. Throughout the coming ages, we'll never forget about you. Adel. So I wonder if she's going to say the line. Let's see. Fina and Adel are gazing into each other's eyes. See, that's why he ain't into Lilia. Well, I guess we should let them be alone. That's a good idea, Maria. Well, Adel, we'll be off now. Good luck. Lily is looking over at Fina like, who is this hoe bag? Oh, she's gonna talk. Oh, Adol. I don't know what to say. How can I East 3 doesn't take safe? place in Asteria, Moogle. The basement of the shrine was such an eerie place. After that, I went to Jeva's house. I met a lot of people that I never knew before. And I learned a lot about the wonderful world of East. But the best thing that has happened to me is that I had a chance to meet you. Are you going to say the line? For the first time in my life, I was able to speak with the heart of a girl. It is hard to feel human when your soul <laughs> is of a goddess. Hey, Jay. Well, I must go. Lair is waiting for me. You mean Ree? Ree's waiting? Adel. Promise that you'll always remember the girl in me. Uh, I don't like that version of it. Remember the girl in me? Not very... No buenas. No buenas. In, in, the, in the modern version, she says, I wish you to remember me as a woman, not as a goddess, which I thought was a great line. So what AJ said, when you walked in and everyone was there, I was like, is this a Neon Genesis Evangelion joke where everyone's applauding and saying congratulations? I mean, pretty much, right? How old is NGE? I don't know if it's older than East. It might be. It's been around for a long time, hasn't it? And Wayne's like, blue haired girl. <laughs> yeah, it's a great theme. Lilia, why do you have red hair? That creeps me out. She's supposed to be a brunette. What is going on? 97? Oh, East is older than that then. Oh, shit. The original version of this came out in like 87 or something like that. Might have been even... Actually, no way. East 2? 1985, I think. The original PC-8801 version. This version, 1989. Yeah, well, it, yeah, if it's the 90s, it's not as old as Eva. I thought Eva, uh, Eva or, or NGE, or whatever you want to call it, it was older than that. But I guess I don't really know shit from Shinola when it comes to anime. Yeah, and this port came to America on the Turbo Graphics in 1990, which is when the Turbo Graphics CD came out. Because this actually was um, this uh, this was a pack and title with the CD add-on. Can we just get a hack where her hair is recolored as brown? There shouldn't be any redheads other than Adel. The whole point is of Adel the Red is that his hair makes him stand out. There's Dogie. Why does Dogie look fat? Maybe he's just, like, really stocky and barrel-chested. But, like, everybody seems to have red hair. It's crazy. But, yeah, remember the girl in me? That that does not translate it well. Oh, my God, and they actually have it looking like he's kissing Lilia. What is this version? There's the Rota tree. Maybe he's just standing there talking to her and... I don't know. Bop, 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 bop. Wow, that's a, that's a cool shot, though. Showing Asteria. That's cool. And if you look right to the north, that's where East is. It's so cool that they show East next to Darm Tower, like, incorporated with the rest of Asteria. That's so fucking awesome. Isn't that a great episode, Barrel? Not that there's bad episodes of Breaking Bad, but that's a particularly good one. It sounds wrong, that's why they changed it, yeah. Special thanks to Yuji Kudo. These beats, though. Holy shit, it's the 80s, all right, listen to this music. 
Oh, look at the little sprites during the credits. I'm enriched by this. Oh, he's dancing with Fina. That's so cute. That's fucking adorable. You came back just in time for the credits now. Yup. I stayed determined. We got it. This is so fucking cool. This is so like an Alvin and the Chipmunk special. How dare you? How dare you? By the way, you know what I did? Uh, before we end the stream, I'm going to show you something great. I reinstalled East 2 um, on Steam, so I can just very briefly show you what East 2 looks like on Steam. And I'm glad you're here, because I wanted to specifically show you that. So, Was the wizard dancing? Do Dallas was like crumping. This is like the end of like Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders where they're all dancing in the credits. Dude, this is... Okay, as much as I love the remake, it's missing this. It's missing the dance party during the credits. It, they need to re-release East 1 and 2 again with the dance party in the credits. If they don't do that, then they fail. They need to bring this back. I've never seen an East dance party before, and I'm so glad to see it now. Alan Oppenheimer? Wow. And Jim Cummings, yep. He had some real talent in this, and then some other people. Thomas H. Church was in it. Oh, uh, there have been like a bunch of shitty live action Alvin and Chipmunks movies recently now. They were like really bad. They made like three of them, I think. Oh, five? I only knew about three. Holy shit. Cooperated with all these fucking people. Including the Joe Down Studio. I remember seeing that as a kid, and it was awesome. License from Falcon presented by Hudson Saw. Yeah, Jim, Cum Jim Cummings played Dallas. Ancient East Vanished, the end. And by the way, Ancient East Vanish is actually the overall story of 1 and 2. Originally, when they released on PC, the first game was Ancient East Vanished Omen, and 2 was Ancient East Vanished, the final chapter. Alan Oppenheimer is 86 years old and still cool as shit. Okay, hold on a second, guys. Like, um, I'm not going to end just yet because I wanted to show uh, D uh, Darm. I almost called you Darm, Gray. I wanted to show uh, Gray something. Um, I did... Because we talked about this. I did reinstall East 2 on Steam just so I can show it to you. So let me launch it real quick and uh, get up a, like a scene set up and then we'll... Uh, I just want to show it to you. Okay, you could actually... All right, let me go... No, not there. All right, hold on. I got to make a new scene. It won't take me very long. Come on. Uh, game capture, nad source... New source. I'll just East 2 test. I'll delete it right after. Add source. Capture window. Here we are. Okay, done. All right, I gotta make it bigger. Oh, not that big. Shit. Okay, so let, let me see if I have it. Do I have a save near the... Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, it's a nightmare mode. Do I have a save near the end that's not on nightmare mode? Yes, I do. I have one on normal mode. So, um... Here, let, let's load this one. So, Gray, I'm going to show you the end of East 2. This is the same fucking... If I go back, I could show you... What the... This is what the core of East looks like in the new version. So as I said, like, yeah, like, it looked cool in the Turbo version, but, like, look at this shit. Like, look at how fucking cool this is.
Alright. Okay, so let's, uh... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's okay. That was an herb. Um... Do I have the thing? The elixir? I should have it. Oh god, I don't know where anything is. Really shell, whisper earrings, should tablet, iron ore, blizzard. I mean, I probably could beat him without the elixir, but. Lilia's medicine. Huh. That's weird. Alright, let me try. Uh, wrong button. I'm trying to remember what buttons. Ah, uh, here we go. Equip. Well, I have the goddess ring, so there's that. I'll put the shield magic on, and we'll do this. So I'm basically going to show you just what Darm is like in this version. So same boss, way better game. If you guys want to see what it, why I was freaking out that it's different, I am Darm. I am the source from which magic and demon kind alike were formed. My power is that which created yeast, and my power alone can sustain it. I shall consume your very soul, and you shall know true despair! Gotta be dramatic as fuck. You ain't shit, dude. This is normal mode, so I really shouldn't have any problem, even without the uh, elixir. I don't know why I didn't have it. I guess in this this playthrough, I didn't buy it. But this is normal difficulty, so I'm not super worried about it. Now here we go. Second form. Fuck! Oh, I might be doomed. I didn't mean to get hit by that like that. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm very rusty at that, but that's um, that's what it looks like in the, the modern version. I just wanted to show you that. But let's go over um, here. Oh, not here. Here. And uh, we'll do a raid. Uh, I'll go over the schedule. Gray's all of a sudden quiet. Maybe he left. I don't know. Now it's more like Fantasy Star 2. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, I, I fucked up like badly on the second form there but yeah that's that's what he looks like uh, the second form is actually really easy as long as you stay behind him and you don't get hit by his laser blast but when he changes to that second form, he unleashes that bullet hell shit which uh that could wreck you pretty hard and it's been a while but anyway let's uh let's go over the schedule for the week and uh well for technically speaking next week and uh then we'll do a raid so join me guys tomorrow night with myself noun or eh huh nogan beats and what tea sparkle as well as huh jesse armageddon in time for the list critics that's going to be 8 p.m tomorrow monday is going to be the final injustice 2 stream at 1 p.m Yeet. tuesday night uh 8 p.m we're going to be continuing our undertale no mercy slash genocide run that'll be really cool wednesday 1 p.m we're going to be doing dragon quest 11 i'm going to be a much higher level because i've aside from grinding in the last uh stream we're going to do more grinding well i'm going to do more grinding off camera off stream, you guys said you didn't mind me doing that. I'm not going to spend any, like, points or do any character creation or, uh, or like, do any story stuff. I'm just going to grind. You said you guys said you didn't mind that, so I'm going to do that. Thursday at 8 p.m., we're going to continue Soul Blazer. Friday at 2 p.m., although I may start early, keep an eye on the discard, is more Dragon Quest Eleven. Saturday at 8 p.m. is uh, to be announced. It will be announced um, probably sometime this week on the Discord. It might be the day of. I have a couple of different things I'm considering. It might be an RPG Maker game that somebody sent me that I wanted to try out on stream and just sort of give them the... Um, yeah, he's out. He came in just at the end. Sorry. Uh, just, you know, give them some feedback and stuff. Or it might be something else. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, Saturday night's up for grabs. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do a raid. Thank you, Azoth, for coming by, even if it was at the very end. It, it, it's, it's great that you came by. That's why we have a schedule. So let's see. Who are we, where are we going to send you guys? Um, all right. So we have some just chatting. We have Untitled Goose Game. We have Retro Stream. We have Gears 5. We have Overwatch. And we have another person playing Gears 5. So, so what are you guys feeling? Goose game? 
I, as soon as I saw that somebody was doing Goose Game, I figured everybody was going to want to see that. Does anybody not want to see Untitled Goose Game? Because that's what Lizabelle is doing. Um, oh, Gray wants Retro. Retro is Deep Head Denny. Um, I don't know if he's doing Tuesday or, or whatever he's doing. Do we have Wholesome Dancing available? Uh, that would be Gears 5. Well, I have two people playing Gears 5. One of them is Felgoth. The other's Pun. Or we could just raid Lizabel. She's doing Untitled Goose Game. Deep Head Danny's on. Uh, Rinny's on doing Overwatch. There's a lot of good options here, you guys. There's a lot of good options. Deep Head Danny's playing Donkey Kong Country 2. Goose, goose, goose. All right. Well, I haven't raided Lizabelle in a little bit. Let's raid Lizabelle. Ask Goose. Okay, guys. We're going to raid Lizabelle. She's currently playing Untitled Goose Game. I figured you meant Felgoth when you said Wholesome Dancing. But let's go with the Goose. I haven't raided her in a while. Uh, so let's raid. Uh, and and uh, I want you to, guys, if, you, if you're... Give the Goose... Just use the Goose emoji. Don't worry about Gibbsy or the Eat Wolf. Just use the Goose emoji. And I want you to say something like... Um, Ask Goose sends his regards, or something like that. So we're going to raid Lizabelle. Uh, looks like she's dressed up as something. What is she dressed up as? I don't... Some kind of schoolgirl or something. I don't know what she's doing. But anyway, we're going to we're gonna get ahead and go over there to her channel. I'll see you guys over there. I'll see you guys in the Discord. I'll see you guys tomorrow night for the List Critics. That's at 8. It's going to be hype as fuck. Uh, like I said, me... Noun, T-Sparkle, and, uh, and Armageddon Time will all be there, and I'll see you guys just around in general. And away we fucking go. Yeah.